Alright, I mean, we just blow everything on this. <laughs> Peak boy. Wait, what? What happened there? What? What was that? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today we're playing a game called Echo of Elu. I don't know a lot about this game, to be honest. We're going to experience it together. All I really know is that the resource in this game is kind of like uh, a power buff that you can give each turn. Uh, so we're going to check it out together. I just made my character, which they have like a ton of little, uh, a ton of avatars to pick from. And I, <laughs> I got the robot with a mustache and a top hat. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. We're in the Siberian deserts on Earth. 24-17. We've been walking around this damn Serbian desert for days in search of a mythical space underground. It's said that this spaceship is so large that entire peoples have already found refuge there. In the meantime, we're still walking. Okay, choose a card and place it on one of the illuminated slots on the boards. Okay, and I think we get to pretty much play anything. Editor Moon here, I thought I should explain the rules of this game right up front since it took me a couple minutes to get the hang of things. So this game doesn't use mana as a resource like most other card games, but uses what's called power particles. And this PP is used not to play your cards, but instead buff your cards. Each power particle you spend will boost the unit's base attack value, so each PP I spend on this rover card will boost him by 6 each time, since his base attack is 6. And you can buff a card as much as you like, provided you have enough PP, but as soon as you attack with it, you lose all your buffs. So this creates some really interesting decision points, as you'll see later, if we want to invest all our resources, or bait our opponent into spending all their resources. Apart from that, you get to make only one action per turn, which includes attacking, moving a unit on board, playing a card, or activating an ability. The main objective is usually to kill five creatures, but you can also set up alternate win conditions. I'll let Gamer Moon take over here now though, and we'll talk about that later. I can do 450 push-ups in three minutes. Oh my god. When they come into play, characters drop all their PP into the reserve, except one. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's what that number is. Make sure to protect your characters, otherwise they will get attacked by the enemy. Right, okay, so we are actually- so we actually gain this resource by playing creatures. Alright. You can see a maximum attack that a character can reach by clicking on your reserve. I'm gonna have to- yeah, there's gonna be a lot of different strategies here, because we gotta, I guess, math out each turn how many stats he can raise to, and then we've got to counter by raising that much. But then if you spend too much, because you lose all these stats once you attack, right? So if you spend too much, um, then you just wasted those stats. You can see the max he can reach when clicking on reserve, so there's no need to calculate it. Max 28. Oh, that's really, that's really helpful. <laughs> I thought, I actually thought this max was like, there's a cap on how much you can boost to. But okay, that's what the max means. How much you can boost to next turn. That is super useful. <laughs> no math, I like it. All right, so he can get to max 28, so I guess we want to boost beyond 28. <clears throat> and he boosts. Um, okay, so we hit. And then, can I play a card? Does this count as an action? It looks like that, yeah, that counts as an action. Okay, max 32. Can we boost there? All right, perfect. No escape. All right, very interesting. I like the mechanic. But who are you? I say we tear her apart now. No, 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 wait, I can help you. What do you mean? You better be convincing. I can reprogram your robots. They are very basic, by the way. Bold of you to say that. Ah, I see, a hacker. That's pretty rare around here. Rav, her talent can serve us well. 
Yes, give us a demo on these two robots and we'll talk about it. Alright, so we're we about to hack. Hacking robot will make you join their team. So, this is just an actual mechanic. Like, typically, um, mind control is like something you stay away from, but maybe it works uh, reasonably in this because creatures are just kind of like free to play, right? Hold click on your card and select hack. Okay. Can we pick something on the other side? No. Alright, well done. You control the robot, use it to smash the others, or hack them too. But this guy's gonna stay here. That's interesting. So, but I can move... here? Okay, gotcha. Alright, wait, can I move this? Oh, no more actions now. Hacking isn't that much used at higher level play, since it's quite hard to get in range. And slow because of action cost, and doesn't really progress you towards your artifact objective. Right, fair point, because I guess... Uh, yeah, actions are a big deal in this, right? We only get one action, and actions... Uh, you use them for so many different things, like moving and attacking. Alright, so Terra, I believe, is like Earth in the future. Maybe it's been destroyed or something. Hey, look, your artifact has changed. Your goal is different now. Oh, are there different win cons? Two energy rocks to retrieve. Wait, that is super interesting, actually. If that's like an alternate win condition. So three characters to destroy is this guy's win con, but we've got two energy rocks to retrieve. You must reach opposing line with a character. Your character must then return the energy rock to your side, benefit from its effect. If you have all four energy rocks on your side, you win the match. Can make two consecutive moves. When he comes into play... Wait, can we just, like, come into play and attack something? Or maybe we use this to actually work towards our objective. Oh, I don't think I read that. That might have said that I can't immediately move him. Steal an ER, try to move on the opposite side, then come back immediately. Right. So we'll move here. You got it. Now hurry back before you get cut into pieces. Excellent. All right, this guy seems pretty good for this objective. And then, so yeah, we'll try and protect this guy. Max 24. So we'll go here, retrieve, fine, win, boom. Cool, all right. I wonder if that means they can steal them back. Yeah, that's what I was curious about too. I imagine they probably can. Because that would be a difficult objective to stop if you couldn't, right? Especially with the ninja character. Did I say something wrong? Well, he's gone. He's spent too much time in quarantine. He's a little socially awkward right now. Um, we've got, like, the initiative on board, right? Actually, it seems pretty powerful to have two creatures in the center, right? You cover all this range. Uh, but let's boost. Team attack plus 10. If an enemy character has too much attack, you may try to steal their energy rocks or play characters to gain more PP. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize. These... Oh, that's what these circles are. This more energy. Okay, that's fantastic. I love that mechanic. This is like Fairy of Wells. <laughs> Llama and his apprentice, Melt, can both generate PP each turn. Uh, so this guy generates the most, I guess. We'll put you off to the sides. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy! Alright, I guess we'll just... Take a step back, collect. All right, that's all we can do. All right, so can we boost now? We can go to 60, awesome. Got him. Okay, that was just the one. Nice. All right, these mechanics are super interesting. I like it a lot. What a beauty. Who are you, madame? Freddy. I am Rhea, leader of this squad. I am Wendy. Yes. Alive? And I am Mila. We are the Resistance. Why did she help us? What did she want? Working for the Resistance? I don't know, I trust her blindly. May I introduce Raya? She is a champion. Champions give a passive bonus to all their allies from the same planet. Oh, right. Her team effect is theft. 
When your Terrans destroy a character, they steal their PP. Okay, that's what she's doing. Alright, fair enough. Use Raya to attack a character and steal their PP. I guess we gotta boost all the way. Give me all the PP. Ah, right, I keep for some reason thinking PP means I get to collect it here, but it's just on the character. But fair enough, still really strong. Right, also is Rush very useful with the Thunder Artifact. Right, uh, let's just move off to the sides. And back. Alright, this guy's got Rush, so we want to deal with the Rusher, I suppose. Boost, boost. Pew. Uh, and then we got 36 to worry about. I think we can just boost this past. He's got more cards coming. Hmm. Oh, I guess he's repairing. Repair a discarded robot, cost 2 PP. Uh, I guess we want to deal with this then, but then we lose all of our attack. That's not good. Uh, I guess we'll just boost this. Steal that PP. 35, and we're still safe. She can just keep repairing though and keep dumping stuff, but then she's losing resources, I guess. Um, so now we might actually just attack the Shayna, because this one's causing some troubles for us. And then I guess we're fine. Hmm. Uh, what can we boost to? 80? Not enough. But I am I'm netting myself positive by doing this, right? <laughs> because I'm gaining actually a free 2 per turn. Uh, let's see. This can go to... We can boost to 85 now. So one thing we could do actually is try and cut this guy off. We'll just max boost this and then we move here. Alright, and now what do we have to boost to? You? Go to 84, it's still not enough. So we just take the cookies. Mine. I guess board control was the play. I got thrown off by that guy that kept regenerating cards and I was like... Oh, cannot deal. Alright. One by knockout. Oh right, we got the stall unlocked, so let's see if we can enter our, our codes that we got. So you guys can use these codes as well. So we'll try... Moon Fossa. The developer was kind enough to give me uh, a code. So we get uh, 10,000 CC. I think this is... I think you, you get like spaceships or something, and, and th these are like the booster packs. And the other one is... Welcome! Bonus. Um, you do have to get to level 3 to actually unlock these in the stall, but um, seems pretty easy. Click on multiplayer. You'll get your first free deck if you click multiplayer. Oh, gotcha, okay. Select a starter deck to play in multiplayer. Which planet will you fight for? Um, this one seemed cool. I liked the abilities here. In standard play, you can only use decks with 15 or less gems. Each card is worth between 0 and 3 gems. So that's what the gems are. Okay, that's interesting. So you can actually have different, uh, varying deck sizes. Very interesting. Huh. And since the deck size is kind of small, I guess, like, creatures are actually important. It's a lot less, like, typical deck builders where you have, like, a deck of 30 to 60 cards. And consistency is really important. You uh, really want as few cards as possible in your deck if you can have it. But in this, with such a small deck size, I imagine cards are a little bit more impactful. Oh wait, can I select which win con I go for? Oh, that's neat. So we can destroy five enemy characters, or we can gain the Thunder Rocks. This one seems maybe easier at the start. Destroy five enemies. Considering like last time I just destroyed the enemies anyways. Um, as I learn the strategies, this prone is probably the easiest, I would assume. Survive for 12 turns to achieve victory. Yeah, it's probably just this. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in my deck. This is like half of the opponent's deck, maybe. Okay, let's, let's try a multiplayer game. I am ready. Ready for the big league. Sign me up for a tournament. Get to select my board. Let's just do a random and fight. 
Wait, was this guy waiting for me to make my selection? <laughs> I was curious about that. Uh, with each kill, takes 5 PP from his opponent. Place a mine. Uh, yeah, let's start with Miko. Oh, big boy. Okay, we can't quite climb that high. Kills a character, she steals their PP, stealth. Like the protection guy. Well, this guy can be scaled higher, right? So we should be able to scale. Now we can go to 76. Okay, this was a mistake, actually. <laughs> uh, can I play some mine for free? Cool. Right, but we sacrifice this so that we can potentially kill this? No. <laughs> He's boosting. We can only go to 42. Right. Okay, let's try Rhea. Oh, no, right, when we play a card, we get extra stuff to boost with. So this allows us... No, but we can't kill. What am I... Oh, no, why am I boosting? <laughs> I guess we take this boost away from our opponent, though, right? Wait, why did he draw cards? Oh, did I lose my time bank? Whoops. Wait, where's the time bank? Oh, okay. Re... <laughs> Uh, let's just steal some stuff. That'll be our turn. Okay. I have a feeling we're not going to win this. <laughs> Range counter attack. Can attack any opponent. An adjacent character has been defeated. Immediately counterattacks. Uh, boost to 82. Oops, that was too much. <laughs> okay. I think it would be nice to have like a, you know, like a countdown timer. I gotta, I gotta constantly look over at this to see if I'm gonna run out of time. Uh, so let's try to kill something, I guess. Wait, why am I boosting this far? Oh my god. Ranged. There's a recruit. First multiplayer games are a mess too. <laughs> Last kill? What was that? Three characters is... Oh! Yeah, you kind of been doing bad. I forgot about the objectives for a sec. <laughs> uh... Changes the game, Wendy camouflages... Adjacent... Right, I don't know if... I, I guess we just lose this, to be honest. Oh, this guy's got ranged! I I'm camouflaged, though. Allied stealth. So talent heal. When you can heal a discarded human. You can heal a discarded human. I guess I've got none of that. Uh I think we're just dead here, actually. <laughs> Kinda looks like we're just dead. Yeah, this this timer's gonna get me super often, I think. I don't have the, the classic fairy of dung, 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 dung. Intimidating you to make a play. Hmm. I guess that, like, maybe there is something also to keeping your deck small. Like, what would be the purpose of a 1-1? One, one? Seems kind of like you're spending an entire action to summon a 1-1. One, one. Strategy tip. Oh, there's a strategy tip. Look at that. It's pretty much pointless. Fantastic. But it's the only zero, zero gem cards. Right, okay. Can give you more flexibility in your deck building. It is also the ideal card in reversal mode. 
All right, so the, I guess that's the strategy is that it's got zero gems, so you can do something with it, but probably not best for us right now. Play mass. To boost to 49. I guess we'll just boost one more. Alright. More creatures on board seems good. Ranged. Oh, we got protection, so I can't actually kill that with Rover now. Right, I guess I gotta consider, make a huge consideration to how much I'm investing in this creature, right? I guess we can try the hacker. I mean, if we boost, this is just a, d a defense guy, right? So we could boost to 63. Oops. <laughs> I keep clicking too many times. Why do I do this? So I guess we try and hack. My 70 power guy. Ha ha ha. Alright, I, I, there's a lot of complexities to this game, actually. Because, yeah, this guy's just now stolen my thing. I guess... Is this even worth it? That might not be worth it, because it just gives an, another opening for another creature to come down, right? Uh, I guess one thing I should have done earlier was place a mine. Let's just go for defense, maybe? And then boost this to past 72. Because this guy's got 7 power, so he scales a little more than the Raya does. Oh, is he going for the kill? Oh, he's killing that guy, okay. Right, I also have to remember the objective is actually to kill things, not necessarily steal all the the orbs. Okay, well, let's... He's given us the opportunity. Let's actually boost and maybe kill that Shayna in the back. Because we can shoot that, right? So for limited resources, we get to shoot this. Cool. Because currently we're in the lead, right? We're already actually up two kills on our opponent, so I think we can just keep passing like this. I think we can take a free kill, though, right? Because we just need... Oh, I forgot he counterattacks like that. Whoops. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Okay, that's not great. I think this guy's just gonna die for free, right? Alright, sketchy. We're one to one now, so we need to get the next kill. Last kill. So we could play the Miko and then just boost him infinitely. 52. And we can place you even here. Alright. Does that work? <laughs> I sure hope that works. Do we win? Or is this guy gonna counter attack us? Okay, we win. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Alright, we got our first win. That's pretty exciting. Wow, that is a really actually intense game. Like, there's a lot of stuff to think about there. Well, let's check out the puzzles. We'll go to adventure. Oh, we don't have them unlocked. Oh, challenges. What do we need to unlock these? Ah, uh, this is just the regular story mode, I see, so we gotta play more story. We'll try challenges. So let's try with- let's try with puzzle one, I guess. <laughs> When Sabil is in confidence, she becomes invincible. I think we saw this character before. When defeated, transfers PP to the reserve. Okay. Lien! This is the character on the start screen. Create a 7-2 exoplanet with protection and security on an adjacent empty slot. Cure atrophy and paralysis. Okay. Paralysis. Paralysis. I always used to call... So I, I grew up with like... A, the Pokemon TCG back in the day, I always used to call it Paralysis, and it's never left my head since. <laughs> this guy wants to be more sensual, I think, because you get a lot of bang for your buck with eight. Oh, God. That's not good. What if I just steal it back? <laughs> can I just steal it back? Is that good? And that still goes to... that can go to 98. Boost more. Well, I guess I'm still not collecting this one mana, but now I just collect this one. Thank you. And now you're at 112. Now we can just... Yeah, because this guy scales the best with 8 power, so maybe this is the plan. Right, oh, I could have just moved the Zest, couldn't I have? This could have been my collector, but we could... No, wait. Can this move? Yeah. Oh, we can't collect. Oh, there's nothing to collect. <laughs> Fair enough. Lien dies 
Six turns to go still, that's a lot. And he needs to kill two more characters. So I could slow him down one more turn by collecting. Now that just opens up a spot for him to collect. But then I shimmy this way. Maybe this works? Because he is on zero right now, so he's not able to actually contest this whatsoever. Three turns remaining. Uh, now we just like run away from all the big boys. He can go one, two... No, we just stay here, because he's got to spend a lot of actions to do that. Alright, I mean, we just blow everything on this. <laughs> big boy. Wait, what? What happened there? What? What was that? <laughs> Why did that delete all of my power? Did that have an ability? Well, I guess I just lost. That's just awkward. <laughs> We're like one turn away. Two turns remaining, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to come back to that uh, another time. I think that's gonna be it for me for the day. But, uh... That was pretty fun. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that I wasn't uh, prepared for, and uh, I, I'm thoroughly happy with how those, how all of that works. Like I can see a lot of really in-depth strategies in this game. Uh, but yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.